Hey guys, I just wanted to show you how to change your lock screen wallpaper to the same wallpaper or any different wallpaper than your current wallpaper that be inside your mod 12. This doesn't automatically update it when you change the wallpaper and there's no way to change it on your lock screen. So, like if, for example, if I go to wallpapers and I switch it to this one that I have right now, it's not going to change my uh, lock screen. So anyways, I'm going to get right to it and show you how to do it. You need some type of root browser. I'm using root browser itself. And you need the picture that you're going to be making as your lock screen picture. Okay, so I have mine in SD card. And uh, you're also going to have to give root browser super user access. Anyways, if we go down here, um, the Orion Nebula is the one that I'm using. I've already made backups of everything, so there, that key guard wallpaper without the .jpg or .jpg is a backup of something else I'll show you in a bit. However, the Orion Nebulous, I made a copy of it, and then I named it to keyguard underscore wallpaper, and then I kept the .jpg. There's another video on how to do this, but the guy made it very complicated. It's actually quite easy. So once you have that image that you're wanting named to keyguard underscore wallpaper dot jpeg, we're going to take it, copy it, and we're going to bring it over to data, system, users, zero, and then we're going to paste it in here. Now we're not done. You see this key guard wallpaper, um, you can make a backup of it. That's what I did. I copied it and put it back just in case I wanted to reuse the theming because sometimes it can just disappear and be hard to do and then it won't work again until you get an update or something else. However, it, it, you don't need to. It's not completely necessary because you can always change your lock screen unless there's a Pacific one you get with one of your themes that you actually really like the image of and you want to keep it as that but I'm just going to delete it because I don't need it I already have a backup of it and now this keyguard wallpaper underscore info xtml file will read my keyguard wallpaper dot jpeg file as it's as the file that needs to be on the lock screen. This makes it so that I can just automatically have that image on the background. So another person, he made it so that you'd have to rename it to without .jpg, blah, 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 and do all these really complicated things. This is the really simplistic way to do it, and it does change it. I'll show it that it actually changed and now I have this image on my lock screen. I, I guess I didn't really show you that it was something else beforehand. Um, I'll probably end up making another video to show that off because I need to do another update and I already did the most recent update. But anyways, it's, it's actually really easy to change that. And I'll make one more video just to show how easy it can be. But really, you just need to change it to that keyguard underscore wallpaper dot jpeg and to get rid of the old file that just says keyguard underscore wallpaper with no dot something that's all all right have a good day